Namaste beautiful yogis. I am here with a new thing for my channel and it's monthly favorites. It's the end of July. <laughs> the end of July and these are my favorites for July. And it's skin favorites. Mostly skin favorites. I have been somewhat on a minimalist uh, m more minimal than usual uh, streak because I've been pretty busy with baby but I do have some new things to share and uh, some things that are very impressive <laughs> in the skincare department, in the skin field and some fragrances that's actually probably the most uh, exciting of the month and some vegan stuff, some vegan supplements alright let's get started um, I have been I'll start with uh, some protection because that's the biggest for the month of July and July and August in every part of the world pretty much. I'm still using this, uh, it's been three months, four months maybe. Wait, before baby was born, she's five months, so this is, this has lasted me six months uh, probably. The CC moisturizer and I use it every day because I pretty much know that I'm gonna end up in the sun. So I pretty much put it on in the morning, uh, uh, I first place my serums and then this and it has a tiny bit of sheer coverage, no, don't expect coverage from it, but it does have a little bit of tint, uh, it's only zinc, 20% zinc oxide, it has stem cell, rose stem cell, uh, it's, this is from the uh, thousand roses line, so it has the rose scent and rose extracts and yeah, everything rose. So this is still, I've mentioned it before, but it's still one of my favorites. I do have other, um, the other one, I'll list everything below, uh, whichever of the things that are linkable, some things are from a farmer's market, but whatever um, is from um, a website or Amazon, I'll list it below this one and um, and just uh, the sheer, uh, the um, un untinted one, those two are very good. DIY and Aloe is also very good because you can add it to your other skincare. It's awesome, awesome stuff. All right, uh, the next thing is actually one of the serums that I put underneath uh, my, um, underneath uh, my sunblock. Now I still like Lumine and I put it always every day. Uh, I maybe run out of it here and there for a week or a month but overall I always go back to it but I do rotate other serums because serums, vitamin C serum, other serums that are just concentrated ingredients they just seem to do really well I do my skin really loves it this one I just found it on sale and I bought it on a whim but it has been great it is a scar cream but I use it on my face and especially uh, where uh, I tend to have uh, lines which is cross fit and it's really overnight in the morning everything looks very smooth it's a uh, um, called uh, bio intelligent cells so the reason why I bought it is because I looked at the ingredients and it was this long a list of herbs but highly concentrated it's it's tiny <laughs> this thing is tiny it's a uh, under an ounce 0.7 ounce it's so little but you use very little and whenever you just want it obviously you can use it on a scar too um i i threw out the bottle but it had all the ingredients of a bunch of herbs and extracts it's very natural so it's also good for scars but also good for aging skin which i read um now the next thing is um let's continue with skincare the next thing i've mentioned it before i will list my lumine if it's still sold online my favorite lumine serum my favorite face serum of all time i'll list it below it's, a lot of you have fallen in love with it already uh, but i've been also using this one light switch uh light switch by nature gate and it's also pretty good it's um it's meant to just make your um uh, complexion uh, a little more even uh, it's for to boost skin radiance uh, and to soften edge spots well then I should put it <laughs> on other parts of <laughs> on my hands and stuff where I have more sun exposure all right it, it has it, it, it is a very lightweight one again very water-based one that's the types of serums I like I like the water-based serums not the oil-based serums because they don't tend to absorb the oil-based ones and I will finish with one more uh, face product 
pretty minimal this time i'm not showing it in because i've been using again the lumen serum the biocell and then the the light switch and the cc cream and at night i've gone back to i've had this for a while and then i shifted over to an, an, a different night cream from Andalo and i went back to this nature uh, miracle uh, dirty works that's the brand um uh, miracle cream it's uh it's 8 in 1 it's so good it's also very very good for overnight very emollient and just uh, changes your face as uh, changes your skin texture overnight very moisturizing uh now i have to say that my skin is normal not oily not dry so it probably works for a range of uh, types of skin moving on to fragrances because i do have quite a, a couple of fragrances so i'm still using i did um, this um i don't know if you saw my nature native uh review uh johnny and i did a review on native deodorant um and i'm still loving it this is the lavender rose um let's focus the camera this is the lavender rose uh fragrance i really love it it's uh it's what can what can i say it's lavender and rose um it's it smells so good and it's a natural deodorant made in san francisco for those of you that insist on buying things from that are Amer uh, made in america this is made in america and this is for sure made in california anything from the andalou brand um this one is made i think in oregon actually uh it made in usa but i forgot oh in california as well all right and this one all of them are vegan by the way or uh not tested on animals uh, uh nature dirty works it's actually uh specifically not tested they don't carry in china uh, this line and it's not tested on animals uh, the only thing about this brand it's a really good brand because i've used so many of their products it's that they use fragrances they don't bother me one bit so it has to be good okay fragrances but they do use them uh so that's for the that's for the deodorant it really works it's based uh, on um basically it's uh arrowroot and uh, then it has baking soda in it shea butter coconut oil hydrogenated castor oil uh beeswax so this one i already mentioned this before it's not vegan because the beeswax um jojoba vitamin e lavender geranium uh, and it has acidophilus so i think that probably makes a difference that it has added uh, probiotics to it uh, because it lasts for a long time i i have been super busy i have had to skip a few showers and this thing works the only thing i have to say is if you do it when you apply it just apply it liberally and also apply it kind of on the outside of the of the <laughs> of your underarm uh, because sometimes that's where you know your sweat can collect or where you can sweat and if you get stinky might be that because i literally it, it worked so well and i think it's because i applied it liberally uh, next i have something very exciting but <laughs> wait <laughs> wait for a second i'll get to it um something very cool i have been using different nail polishes and uh, clean nail polishes i've been using mineral fusion nail polish up until now uh, but this one is soybean oil based nail polish so it is der uh, derived from american farm crops packed in biodegradable and recyclable materials non-toxic non-carcinogenic non i got it off of amazon it has a cruelty free logo uh, the little bunny and uh, this one is lavender i think there was a lemon and not scented one and uh, patent pending uh, it's based on uh, soybean oil so it should be pretty um it should be a, a good alternative to um to a nail polish removal i don't do anything with my nails I, they actually always look stained because i just i was just picking figs uh <laughs> in in the wilderness <laughs> i went to meet with uh, some yogis and there was uh, quite a few wild figs there or just wild growing figs and 
I was in there picking. So those are my priorities, pigs over <laughs> nails. But I use uh, nail polish and mineral fusion on my toes. Because for yoga, it's it's kind of like a nice nice thing. Anyways, it's, it brings energy into the toes that are so important in yoga. This is what I'm so excited about. I got a few of these as gifts. Uh, but I've been using them for a while and they are the best now if you're looking for a fragrance and you're in America totally get those if you've never tried them if you're in Europe I'm not sure they all my European friends can't find those and they always ask for those because they're so good I, I don't know why they, they if they don't carry them in Europe why but it's the Kumba it's the Kumba mate uh, brand those are the ones I have at the moment, but they have a lot of other ones and I'll list quite a few uh, in the description below that I like. They're made in Arizona. Tucson. This is the mirror. Amber and sandalwood. Arabi Arabian sandalwood, which is different than the uh, amber and sandalwood. And frankincense and mirror. So those are the ones. There is also creamy coconut. Um, lavender lace was amazing and anything amber sandalwood uh, in that department was great but the creamy coconut and the lavender lace were also great so those are always they're just amazing they're amazing and i like the fact that they're kind of small because they fit in your pores and they smell they just oh i just smell the coconut the black coconut and i didn't buy that so i might also get that they're they're great uh, anything in the sandalwood department and the musks the anything that is vanilla musk but i would have to say that the sandalwoods are a little better to me obviously it's a matter of preference um i have also for all around the house been using the bulgarian lavender oil just for anything kind of if i do massage on my body if i um it just if I do massage on my feet, if I do diffuse, I'll get to this actually. I've been using just all around this to keep things simple, the lavender, uh, Bulgarian lavender oil. And speaking of the lavender oil, I have a coupon for um, this uh, light and I'll leave it below, but it takes the light down to $10. So get in on it if you're looking for a uh, uh, oil diffuser uh, it's just uh, a light a night light I have uh, one night light in my uh, bedroom and this one is for my yoga and it basically um, it, you can choose just one color on it and also a few modes of how you want your oil to be diffused but it just spritz water and a little bit of oil in the air I've been using lavender and sometimes lemon and it's the Amir light. I will link it below, but that's the one I've been using to diffuse water and oil into the environment. And I'm almost done. I'm keeping this nice and sweet. Um, for um, for um, supplements, those two I've been using and I've mentioned them before, but I really like them. They're the my kind the my kind b12 and vegan d i have i've debated for so long on the vegan d probably two months because uh, they're recommended for all babies and i was back and forth so i decided i'll get um, a vegan d3 and i'll just um, take it myself here and there and give it to baby here and there not every day but i figured just i'll give it to her because it's recommended and it's there is there is a lot of back and forth about the vegan d3 so i figured i'll uh, i'll get it a lot of people are not getting uh, vitamin d uh, for different reasons so i figured i'll get it and the b12 actually the way i take it is i take it around six or seven at night maybe even later sometimes because it makes me sleep in in the morning and i need that because baby keeps me up late so if i want to be relaxed in the morning it has a very relaxing effect so if b12 doesn't work for you if it's you're taking it for energy try it the other way try it at night that's how it works for me it's never given me energy it kind of makes me very chill and i can sleep in 
all right those are two gifts but i have to mention them because i've been using them and uh and although i i oh i actually i will link them below this is a follower of mine sent me this spray it's a rose uh, it's a rose water which is a lavender essential oil spray it's so it's so good uh she has a small company so i always want to if i can give a shout out to someone she sent me her line uh, and i'll link her instagram below because i think that's uh that will link to her i think on etsy she sells them so good so so good it's, it's just a rose water with a few essential oils but it's so luxurious and i've been i've been using it because she sent it to me about a month ago and it's almost half gone so it it smells very invigorating and i like the type of bottle she's using because it's it it, it disperses it so well it's probably uh, you can probably even reuse it for uh, other essential oils so i'll link her uh, instagram below or etsy and this my friend brought it from she got it from a farmer's market for me so i don't know if they sell it online if i if uh, i find it online i'll link it below it is the most luxurious body butter ever because it is uh it has hickory extract so it's to restore the moisture hydrating rose hydrosol african shea butter uh from a co-op women's co-op in mali ginger lily and frankincense uh, to gem gently warm the skin and penetrate deeply uh, it's so luxurious she got it at Ohio, which is a few hours out of la but it's so amazing so if if it's not i i haven't l looked if it's just uh, uh, so that farmers market but i will link it below if it's not so those are my favorites for the month earth tonics earth tonics frankincense frankincense <laughs> frankincense blossom body butter <laughs> all right i get it uh those are my favorites uh, they're only in the skincare department for this month let me know if you want this type of videos monthly from me and i'll try to do them or if you want me to include other things other than uh, uh cruelty free skincare items maybe um i don't go shopping very often so that's not gonna happen every month but it can happen probably once a year <laughs> but let me know what kind of content you want from me outside of the yoga classes those are happening and i'll see you with my next video thanks for watching namaste